another one. Did anyone develop paranoia or mental issues doing QA work? Now that's scary. I've been in my role for two years, but it's taking a toll on my brain because if, if things go well, it's, it's like, it's, oh God, all right. Um, it's going to be a difficult one to get through. If things go well, it's forgotten. It's like it's forgotten I exist. So when things are working, no one pays attention to you, right? But if something goes wrong, I get reprimanded for not catching it. It's also affecting my sleep because I'm so afraid that I missed a bug that I'm kept awake. How do you deal with this? And they had an edit saying, thank you so much for all the responses teaching me on teaching me what a healthy QA environment would look, would be more like. I like QA work and I want to believe that my company is misguiding, is misguided about QA. I talk with my colleagues soon about managing their expectations and improvements in process. All right. So number one, I have not developed paranoia or mental issues doing QA. I might've developed it from other things, but not from doing QA. But um, I would say that if you are feeling that way, what I would say why? Like, what's going on that, because you've been there for two years, and I think you need to get a better understanding of the team, right? Um, I'm not sure where, Jesus Christ. I'm not sure like where you are from um, because I know like some areas that like outside of the United States where the, the mindset and the mentality on um, how QA is ran and conducted is very, very rigid, right? So um, I would definitely say to, I definitely say like, it, it might be, it might be the people that you're working with. It might definitely be the company or the type of people or the culture that you're, that you're coming from where, um, you know, no one, like you don't get, you don't get acknowledged for the things that you do well, but you get like really condemned for the things that you do wrong. But guess what I'll say? I'll say, if you don't get acknowledged for the work that you do, then I would certainly say that go ahead and acknowledge yourself and make sure you talk about the amazing things that you do because if they're not going to recognize you, recognize yourself, right? And remind them that you do good work, that you know what you're doing, right? And I would say, like, there are bugs that are going to happen, right? Bugs are inevitable. Um, it's, we, just try to, we just try to mitigate and stop as much as possible, um, but bugs will eventually make it into production. I had like the, the past few weeks, we had, we had a bunch of bugs that like we were trying to, we were battling, right? So I would say that um, you can't, so that, like you can't, you can't let that keep you up because it's, it's going to mess with you, right? Like you need to get your sleep. Um, I, I kind of know... And this is, I know the feeling like, cause when you have things to do, it's not, for me, it's not based on if I miss the bug. It's just me. Like when I have things to do, I, I, I get the, the sleep that I need. And once my eyes are up, I'm, I'm ready to go. Right. I'm ready to go. So like, like, like I was mentioning, um, yesterday I, because I, I knew that I was going up on tech niches, um, tips channel, but I also didn't want to miss on, on my commitments. Right. Because you got to take care of home first. And once you take care of home, then you can take care of other people. So I'm like, let me go and do my show an hour early. And we had a great time reviewing some news articles and working through our Chaos Camp boot camp. And once that was done, we jumped over there. We had a great conversation about resumes. So you have to take care of yourself, right? Don't, you, you can't let a, a, if there's a bug, keep you up at night. Because guess what? If you're up in the, if you're up in the middle of the night, you're not working. 
And if there's a bug, what can you do about it, right? So go to sleep. And when you go to work, you, you worry about a bug being there now and you're ready to react, right? Also, are you continuing to build up your skills, right? Are you um, doing coding challenges at Chaos Camp? Like, I have been greatly benefited and blessed by doing those challenges, right? Because guess what? Before that, I never really knew how to add a health check page. But we did that the other day. And now, now it's merged into the, the main branch. Right. Um, the like when I saw Stephanie's idea of how she tested the random, I was like, "Oh, this is pretty impressive." Right. But being able to add and contribute um, to a software, whether it's just a, cha a challenge, right? I was talking to Don today because they have the advent of code happening right now that a lot of my, which I thought about participating participating in it, but. I just had too much to do that. I just didn't have the capacity to do it. But, but I was telling Don, like, hey, Don, we should use Chaos Camp to do like a, a some, something like an advent of code for Chaos um, for for QA, right? Giving QA people a challenge to accomplish. You know, we might have to like make them a little simpler because they're pretty long right now, but maybe something like, like a, a daily challenge, right? And I think that will help ease like, because... For me, as you get more comfortable with a software or a product than like working in QA or engineering and stuff like that, it, it relieves the pressure on you, right? There's no need for all that pressure. And I, I, I think it's bad that you would be up at night at three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning wondering like, oh my God, did I miss a bug? Did I miss a bug? Right? I'll say if, if, if you think you might have missed a bug and you know what it might be, wake up, go check it. And if, if it's fine, then... Um, if it's fine, then you go back and you get your sleep, but unless you're waking up to do, do something productive, but it's just laying in bed, being worried about whether you, um, laying in bed, worried about whether you, um, missed the bug or not, is not going to be, it's not, it's it, one, you're, you're, you're going to mess with yourself. Right. So, and that's how you're probably developing the paranoia and the mental issues, but leave work at work. When the job is done, right? So don't like, but and then, but then at the same time, you need to go out in there and do other stuff to make you get better, so you can perform better when you're in the game, which is work, right? When we're studying here, when we're, we're on this channel, we're doing software exploration. That's practice. We're trying new things. We're learning new things. We're we're putting in the work, right? Because when we get into the game at work, we are working and we are in it. We're playing the game to win. All right. So that would be. Um, That'd be my advice on that. Like, you can't, you can't let it keep you like that because that's gonna, that's gonna mess with you. Use everything to your advantage. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.